Born Son of God, the first born from the dead, the one that created all things. By him, all things were made. Without him, was nothing made. He is the light of the world. When the Father pronounced, Let there be light in Genesis chapter 1, it was Jesus Christ Himself that came into the scene 
and things became, began to be. Hallelujah. So we are here to tell the world, those who haven't heard of him or who don't know who he is, that he's a savior. He took the form of flesh, the form of man, came on earth to pay for the sins of mankind because mankind was already in condemnation and separation from God because of the sin of the first Adam and Eve. And so Christ had to come in the form of man that he may redeem man and reconcile man back to God. So that is what this is all about, to let the world, to sound the alarm, to sound the alarm. This is like the prophet crying, the voice crying in the wilderness, saying, make ye the way straight, prepare ye the way straight. Hallelujah. So we are out here crying out, not just me alone, but with other warriors as well who are in Christ and who understand the urgency in the spirit, the urgency in the spirit that we have to preach this gospel. We have to intercede for nations. We have to intercede for people, for souls, for those who are out and for those who are already in to maintain, you know, their position in Christ. Hallelujah. So we are here tonight to let the world know that Jesus Christ is the Savior, the one who came on earth, took up sinful flesh, died for the, carried the weights of the sins of mankind and died for mankind. And on the third day, he resurrected and he ascended into heaven. And by that, by his death and resurrection, he conquered and defeated death and darkness. Hallelujah. So um, because of his death and his re resurrection, that is why you and I are believers today. That is why there is something called salvation today and eternal life, because that is what Jesus Christ came on earth to give to man that we may be reconciled back to the Father in fellowship. We are no longer separated, but his blood has drawn us closer, has brought us near. For we are once alienated, we are once strangers in Adam, the first Adam who sinned. But Christ has come as the second Adam and has died for our sins, that as many who will believe in him will be saved and will receive salvation. So tonight we are crying out tonight for salvation, for souls. And we are crying out tonight for restoration for the church, for revival, for the body of Christ. And that is why the title of this um, a prayer watch is called Refill. The bridegroom is calling. Hallelujah. So it's all about the kingdom of God. It's all about advancing his kingdom on earth. It's all about advancing the kingdom in earth. When I say in earth, I mean in men. In men. In hearts. In souls. Hallelujah. That they may know him and the fellowship of his suffering and may come, come back home. That the prodigals may return. Praise the Lord. So I just want to welcome you. And I want to thank you for the following. I want to thank you for, for viewing. I want to thank you for everything, for your data, for your time. You know, I just want to bless the Lord for you and ask that he will shower upon you continuously his blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So please do me the favor of sharing the video, you know. Tell one, tell all. Hallelujah. It's a kingdom. We need to spread it. We need to publish it. We need to let the world know. We need to let the world know that there's a Messiah. His name is Jesus Christ, Yeshua. And he's coming again. And that is why he's calling out, hallelujah, thank you Holy Spirit. That is why he's calling out to his church, saying, saying to his church, prepare ye the way for I am coming. And that is why he's also crying out to the sinners, to the unsaved, those who are not yet in the act, to say, I am coming back, I am coming back, come in now before the door closes up on you, praise the Lord. So I would like us to just take a few moments and pray, commit the prayer, prayer um, into the hands of the Holy Spirit. Because truly we know not what to pray or even how to pray except he helps us. He said, when he be, how be it when he shall come, the spirit of truth, he will guide us into all truth. So we can't do nothing without him. For he is the one who helps us our infirmities when we know not what to do or how to pray or what to pray. So tonight I just want to ask you to join me. Let's just you know, lift up our voices tonight and just begin to honor the Holy Spirit, his presence. Without him we can do nothing. Let's bring this whole intercession right now under his watch. He said, except the Lord watches, the watchman watcheth in vain. The Holy Spirit is the chief watchman. We watch under his watch. We watch in his watch. Hallelujah. So this is a prayer watch. This is the first watch. So we need to invite the one who is the chief watch, our chief intercessor. Hallelujah. And just ask him to breathe over this meeting tonight. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So Father, I just thank you and I give you praise. You are God and there's none else. You are high and exalted you are the high and the lofty one you are highly exalted above all of your creation and all uncreated things you are god and god alone you are the self-existing one 
you are the great and mighty one there's none like you jesus there's none like you you are our savior our redeemer the captain of our salvation the bishop of our souls the lover of our souls the light of the world haha <laughs> lord we just love on you tonight i just want to bless your holy name because of you we can stand today because of you we can worship because of you we can cry abba father and i just want to mm -hmm. honor you sweet spirit of god thank you for being our helper thank you for being my helper thank you for your comfort thank you for strength thank you for the many times that you help us the many ways that you guide us that you keep keeping us pressing on pressing toward the mark of the high calling tonight we just want to worship you and say you are worthy of praise you are worthy of glory you are worthy of honor and adoration and there's none like you let the heavens lift up their voices tonight and worship you let the earth lift up and cry out that you are holy and you are worthy and righteous and no one else is god but you all other gods are the works of men that the works of vanity and shame you alone are the only true god all power dominion authority belong to you you are life and the giver of life you are the way the truth and the life you are the master of the universe you are the creator of all creation lord there's none like you we hallow your name tonight Jesus, I hallow your name tonight, Holy Spirit. You are the spirit of truth. You are the revealer of Christ the Savior. For no one can confess or say that Jesus Christ came in the form of man, in the form of flesh, died and resurrected, except by you. You are the chief witness. So tonight I just honor you and I worship you. I worship you for your holiness. I worship you for who you are. I just worship you because there's none like you. You are helper like none. You are the breath of life. Without you, nothing exists. With you are the power of the resurrection. Without you, nothing lives. Without you, this watch can go on. Without you, this watch can happen. You are the one who makes things happen. And you are also the chief communicator. Tonight, I just ask that you communicate to your people. Communicate to the hearts of men, to the souls tonight. As many Jesus. Communicate to them by your spirit tonight through this vessel for i am only a vessel i bring myself under your anointing under your power under your glory under your influence that i said tonight i declare let thy kingdom come and let thy will be done in my life let thy kingdom come and let thy will be done over this watch in the name of jesus let my voice not be heard but let your voice jesus the voice of the savior the bridegroom himself let your voice be heard by your people let your voice be heard by the people that you died for that you shed your blood for let them hear your voice tonight in the name of jesus so i ask you spirit of god that you move in the hearts of men tonight in the hearts of as many that are watching right now and those who will watch in the future your breed on them and cause hearing karabaya cause your ears to be opened up spiritually karaba every mind that has been veiled tonight by the enemy by worldliness by the cares of life by the bush by challenges by the storms of life by struggles my god every blindness of the mind jesus karaba i just ask that by your spirit tonight holy spirit you will breed upon those minds and remove those veils those covering in the name of jesus that they may see the light that they may see the truth and may know the truth and may be able to embrace the truth in the name of Jesus. Well, let your truth alone, Jesus, be heard tonight. You are the truth, so be heard tonight, be seen tonight, be revealed tonight. But because this is all about you, it's not about me. Oh, I say, I decrease right now that you alone will increase Jesus, be enthroned in my heart, be enthroned in this intercession. Be enthroned in the worship. Be enthroned in all. Be enthroned in the word that I speak to. Now let it be you speaking through me in the name of Jesus. Let the excellence of your power be of you, not of me. Karabashanda, for I'm just a vessel. I just ask Spirit of God tonight, oh Lord, that you sanctify me, purify my mouth, purify your word in my mouth. That it will flow and comfort with power to save tonight, to turn the sinner to a center. Let it comfort with deliverance today to set the captives free. Karabashanda, higher. Oh, let it come with healing tonight. Leave us one man to heal and mend broken has uh, to heal the sick to heal men spiritually and heal men financially heal men materially heal men physically heal men bodily in the name of jesus for your word is life and spirit and is here and name and let your word comfort tonight with power and quicken men quicken their understanding to know 
you, Jesus, uh, even better than what they know. Right now, in the name of Jesus, that men may grow in grace. In the name of Jesus, let this intercession tonight add value. Karaba to destiny, Zaraba Shanda, that are open to this intercession, to this watch, to this recording, to this broadcast tonight. In the name of Jesus, Masia Namaya, Ederelo, Siadaba Koshenda Haya. He said, If that power that raised Jesus from the dead, Talaba Kayad, dwells inside of you, would he not quicken your mortal body? Your word is the life and spirit is here. And I ask tonight that the power of your word will move Karabaya across the, the, the screen tonight, for there's no distance in the realm of the spirit. Alabaya, move on social media tonight, move on the internet tonight, and reach out to hearts, reach out to minds tonight. And let every vain imaginations be pulled down in the name of Jesus. Kodabaya, that you may take your seat in their heart, that you may take your seat in their minds as their Lord and as their master and their king, the one who has ransomed them, the one who has purchased them, Makaraba, with your precious blood and has given them life. Makodabaya, let your word be tangible tonight. Let your word that is life be life indeed in their life tonight, in their hearts tonight, and cause, oh God, Karabaya, life to spring forth out of men in the name of Jesus. Cause a revival, cause a reawakening, cause a quickening, Jesus, cause a resurrection in the name of Jesus by the power of your spirit, God. I ask that you baptize this intercession tonight with your fire and with your spirit, Holy Spirit. I say, breathe on it, oh God. Breathe on it, Jesus. Arabaya, breathe on me as well. Hey, I bring myself under your influence. Let me speak the kingdom tonight. Let me pray the kingdom tonight. Let this intercession flow from the womb of your spirit, God. Let no flesh speak, oh God. Let no flesh glory, God, in your presence tonight. Saturate this inter into the internet right now. Saturate the atmosphere with your presence. Karabaya, with the fragrance of your glory. Let your fire fall, the fire of your glory right now. Karabaya, all over the internet, all over the cyberspace, all over social media, on Facebook. Karabaya, in the hearts of men and as many who are watching in the name of Jesus. Karabaya, oh, let your fire fall. Karabaya, and begin to purify hearts. Begin to sanctify men. Karabaya, begin to break men free from the yoke of sin, from the bondage of fear. Liba Swadabaya, for you have not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and of a sound mind. Liba Shanda, let there be soundness of mind in your people tonight. Karabaya, let there be restoration. Oh, let there be healing. Let your healing power flow tonight and reach out to your people, Jesus. The people that you love, the people that you die for in the name of Jesus. Oh, let your love be revealed tonight, oh God. Karabaya, through this meeting, leave us one amanakasaya. Anyone who is broken, let them find you today, the perfecto in the name of Jesus. Oh, put them together, the porter. Put them together in the name of Jesus. Leave us one and cause your love to be revealed. As many that have doubts in their hearts about you, about the kingdom, you are the one that dissolves every doubt, Holy Spirit. You are the spirit of truth. Jesus said, when you come, you will guide us into all truth. He said, you will not speak of yourself of your own, but you will take from him and give to us. I ask that you reveal the Savior tonight. Reveal Christ tonight. Reveal the glorified Christ tonight. Reveal the resurrected Christ tonight. Reveal the Son of Man tonight. Reveal the Son of God tonight in the hearts of your people. Let there be convictions tonight. Let there be conversion tonight. Let your power of conversion flow right into hearts and minds today. Today to save souls. To save souls. To save the unsaved. To turn the sinners to saints in the name of Jesus. And to cause the saints to abide. Let there be a revival. Let there be a quickening by your fire tonight. Baptize your church tonight. Baptize us tonight. We cry out for your fire. We cry out for your fire, Holy Spirit. We are tired of being the way we are. We want a change. We want transformation. We want the evidence of salvation to be to be visible. So I ask you to move tonight through this intercession and reach out to hearts. Those who are hungry, he said, blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness. There are so many who are hungry for the truth. There are so many who are hungry for you, for an experience, for an encounter. I ask, I said, this is the time, Spirit of God. Breathe on them tonight. Hover over this intercession tonight. Brood over this meeting tonight. Let no carnality reign. Let no flesh reign. But you, Holy Spirit, take your place. Stare the wheel. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release the blood of Jesus Christ into the atmosphere. All over the cyberspace. To begin to purify and saturate in the name of Jesus. Every works of darkness. Every fiery darts of the enemy. Any interference, satanic disruptions. To this meeting tonight. I declare against you that you will not stand. You will not operate. You will not function in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus. I sanction you by divine authority, by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you and I resist you, Satan. And I tell you to back off right now in the name of Jesus. Makoda Mashanda Haya. For the church is gathering. Kede Bosha, and you're not invited. Leave us Swanamanakasaya. Every foul spirit in the air, unclean spirit in the name of Jesus. I pull you down. Makoda Mashanda from the hearts of men. Lebo Swanabaya. Every vain imaginations and thoughts. I cast you down in the name of Jesus. Karabaya. Leave us nothing else will rise, nothing else will sit and throne but Christ in the hearts of men in the name of Jesus. But let there be peace. I speak peace be still tonight. Let the atmosphere be charged now, Jesus. Oh, with your power, with your spirit, with your royalty. In the name of Jesus, I give you praise. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Jesus. To you belong all glory, all power, dominion, and authority. And so tonight we have come, Master. They say you have given to us the keys of the kingdom. Tonight we have come with the keys tonight, to bind the enemy and his works in the lives of your people. Adabaya, and to loosen your people. To declare over the enemy, say, lose them and let them go in the name of Jesus. I declare tonight that the power of sin is defeated indeed in Christ Jesus and will not hold men captive again in the name of Jesus. Every partnership with your church, between, be, between your church and, and the world, Karabashanda. Let it be broken tonight in the name of Jesus. Let your church come to a place of reawakening, a place of revelation, to truly know who they are and to separate themselves, Jesus, from things that don't look like you. From lifestyles that don't look like you. Karabaya, don't speak of your nature and your character. He said, come ye out, come out from among them and be separate. Tonight, let your power, let your fire, for your fire, when your fire comes, it separates. Let your fire fall tonight. In the hearts of men, and begin to cause a separation. For your word is living and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword. And is a descender of thoughts. Karaba tonight, descend thoughts in the name of Jesus and divide a song that things that ought not to be in the lives of your people. Karaba Shanda, let there be a separation in the name of Jesus. Let there be clarity of vision, clarity of purpose, clarity of revelation, clarity of your voice in the name of Jesus and let obedience. Let men begin to walk in obedience because obedience is the true test of sonship. I ask tonight that you reign, Jesus. Let your glory be revealed. men to come back into alignment with your will, with your purpose for their lives, and with your purpose for your purpose for your church. In the name of Jesus, thank you, excellent Father. There is none like you. Take the glory right now. Oh, Nabaya, let the host of heaven be deployed right now. Karaba, round about me. And round about this intercession right now in the name of Jesus. Let them stand on their watch. Karaba, shame them to smite any form of invasion. Labor satanic invasion. Karaba, yali and branches in the name of Jesus Christ. And let your peace reign. I declare tranquility over this broadcast tonight. In the name of Jesus. Karaban, I declare over the people watching tonight. Libero, Lord, that you will speak to their heart. You will minister to them, Holy Spirit, yourself. You will minister to them. You will answer the questions of their heart. You will answer those questions in their heart in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. I ask that you reign upon them. Say, in the last day, you will pour your spirit upon all flesh. Karabaya, through this intercession, let there be a fulfillment of that word in the name of Jesus. Reign upon as many hearts that are open and are hungry tonight, Jesus. Adaban, let there be transformation. Karabaya, let there be revelation. He said to me that revelation best an encounter. Let there be revelation tonight in the name of Jesus. Give men spiritual understanding. Karabashanda. Enlighten the eyes of your understanding tonight to truly understand the gospel. To truly understand what who Jesus is and what you have come to do for them. To truly understand the kingdom and kingdom living in the name of Jesus. To truly understand sonship and what it really means to be a son of God. Karabashaya. And what it truly means to be a believer. Karabashaya. Let eyes be open tonight. Let ears be popped open and let them hear you. Jesus, he said, my sheep know my voice. They hear me. The voice of the stranger, they will not follow. Karabaya, tonight, speak to your sheep. Karabaya. And those who are still outside tonight, draw them to yourself. You say, if you be lifted high, you will draw all men unto you. Tonight, we've come to lift you high, Jesus. As a savior that you are, I ask that you draw men to yourself tonight through this intercession, for this is what it's about. And be glorified in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. I just want us to go through a moment of worship. Praise the Lord. There's a song that has been boiling in my spirit. It says, Excellent is your name. Excellent is your power. Lord, you are wonderful. 
My God, you are excellent. Excellent is your name, Jesus. Excellent is your power. Lord, you are wonderful, my God. You are excellent. Excellent is your name. Excellent is your power. Lord, you are wonderful. My God, you are excellent. Excellent is his name. Excellent is his power. Jesus, you are wonderful. My God, you are excellent. Excellent is your name. Excellent is your power. Lord, you are wonderful. My God, you are excellent. Excellent is your name. Lord, you are wonderful. My God, you are excellent. Excellent is your name. Excellent is who you are. And wonderful is who you are, Jesus. You are marvelous in all your ways. There is no one like you. There is no one like you in all the earth. There is no one like you. Yes, Lord. There is no one like you. There is no one like you in the heavens above. There is no one like you. There is no one like you. There is no one like you, God, on earth, my Savior. There is no one like you. There is no one like you, blessed Redeemer. There is no one like you in the heavens above. There is no one like you, Jesus. You are the reason, Savior. You are the one who died and rose again. There is no one like you. There is no one like you. You are the reason, Lord. You are life, the way, and the truth. There is no one like you. There is no one like you, Lord. There is no one like you. There is no one like you, Lord. You are the reason, Savior. There is no one like you. There is no one like you. There is no one like you. There is no one like you, Jesus. There is no one like you. You are the firstborn from the dead. You are the first of all things, oh Lord. There is no one like you. There is no one like you. You are royal high priest. Making intercessions for the saints. There is no one like you, Lord. There is no one like you. And it's all about you. Hallelujah. It's all about you. The one who died for the sins of mankind. Hey, hey. This is all about you. Thank you, Jesus. This is all about you. This is all about you, Lord. The one who died to set man free. Hey, this is all about you. That's why we worship you. You are glorious. That's why we praise you. You're so deserving. Because there is no one like you. 
Karabashanda. None else could have done what you did for us. Elebo Siana and Asaya. Oh, so we exalt you tonight. Elebo Shanda, how is it be enthroned? Elebo Sha. We enthrone you, Lord. Ela da Kosi Arabaya. We enthrone you, Lord. Ela da Bosha. We enthrone you, Lord. Jesus Christ, our King. Da 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 we enthrone you tonight. We enthrone you tonight. Eh, eh, eh. Be enthroned, oh God, King of mankind. Eh, 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 eh. We enthrone you, Lord, over this intercession. We enthrone you, Lord, in the hearts of your people. We enthrone you, Lord. Eh, 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 eh. Jesus Christ, our King Karabaya, we lift up your banner. We lift up your name. I lift up your banner over this intercession, Lord. I lift up your banner. Lord, I lift up your holy name. I lift up your banner over the nations, over social media, over Facebook, over the cyberspace, over the internet. I lift up your banner. I lift up your name. You are worthy to be lifted high. The King of Kings, King of Glory, Lord of Lords. The Lord, my righteousness, the Lord, our righteousness. The Lord our peace, Jehovah Rapha, Liba, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Nisi, the Lord our banner, Liba Kosi Ananasaya. It about the light of the world, Ikarabo Shandaha, Redeemer of Mankind. We lift up your banner. We've come to lift up your holy name tonight. We lift you up, Lord Jesus, over the nations. Let the world hear you tonight. Let your people hear you tonight. Let the world hear you tonight. The one who died is set and free. Let the world hear you tonight, oh God. Let the world hear your voice tonight. Let your church hear you tonight. The one who came to die that we may be set free. Let the world hear you tonight. Let the sinner hear you tonight. Make your voice so amplified. That they may return home. Oh, let the world hear you tonight, Jesus. Oh, let your light shine for tonight. Let the world hear you tonight, Edabaya. The one who came to set them free, Edabaya. You came to set men free from bondage. You came to loosen men, Lebo Shandahaya, from affliction, from the lies of the devil. Kedaba Shanda. He said, For this cause, Edabaya, the Son of Man was manifested. That he may destroy the powers, Edabaya, of the devil, of the enemy. Lebo Shanda. So let the world hear you tonight. Let the world hear your voice tonight. Let the world hear you tonight. Say, Harabaya, the one who came to set them free. Let the sinners hear you tonight. Let the sinners hear your voice tonight. Let the sinners hear you tonight. And come running back home. You are home. Let them come running back to you tonight, Jesus. Wherever they are, whatever they are doing, I ask that you disrupt the activities tonight in the name of Jesus. Disrupt the activity of the sinners tonight. And let them hear your voice tonight, Jesus. Let them not hear Pamela. Let them hear the voice of the Savior calling, calling, calling. Say, come back home. I love you. Come back home. I am your beginning and I am your end. I am your source. I am your creator. I am your maker. Let them hear your voice tonight. Let them hear your voice tonight. Let your church hear your voice tonight. To stand fast. 
In the will of the Lord, spreading and advancing your kingdom on earth. Let your church hear you tonight. Let them hear your voice tonight, Lord. Oh, let them hear you tonight. Hey, Karabaya. The one who died to set them free. Karabashanda. Let the sinners hear you tonight. Let the backslider hear you tonight. Hey, Kayananasaya. Let the backslider hear you tonight. Hey, they both And let them come running back home. Let them hear you tonight, Lord. This is our prayer. Let them hear you. The one who came to redeem mankind. Let him hear you tonight. You say your sheep know your voice. And your sheep hear your voice. The voice of the stranger they will not follow. The voice of the hireling they will not follow. So open ears tonight, oh God. Open ears tonight, Jesus. By the power of your spirit, open ears tonight, oh God, that men may hear you calling. The bridegroom is calling. He's calling, he's calling, he's calling, he's calling out to you. He's calling, he's calling, he's calling, he's calling out to you. Let him hear your voice tonight, Jesus. So that by Hey, in the day that you will hear his voice, say, Had it not your heart? Had it not your heart? Had it not your heart? In the day that you will hear his voice, Had it not your heart? Had it not your heart? Listen to the voice of your Savior. In the day that you will hear his voice, Had it not your heart? Had it not your heart? Had it not your heart? Today, as you will hear his voice, Had it not your heart? Harden not your heart so you can hear your Savior. Let him hear you tonight, oh God. Let every blockages, blocking the people from hearing you, blocking the sinner, from mastering the call, from calling, coming back home tonight. Let, let their ears be set free, from the bondage of worldliness. Let them be set free from the powers of darkness, for you already defeated darkness in the name of Jesus. Let them hear you tonight. Let them hear you, Jesus, tonight. Holy Spirit, cause men to hear you tonight. Kayananana siande, Kayananana siande, Kayananana siande, Kayananana siande. Cause men to hear you tonight, oh God. Let that ocean down and I am, and let them return. The bridegroom is calling. Karaba shanda haya. He's calling out to his church. He said, "Refill." La 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 bo shanda haya. He said, "Do not be worn out." He said, "This is the time to stand fast." Label swan and anasaya. And he said, for you to be able to stand for, I say you need to refill your lamp. Arabaya. Your lamp needs a daily refill. And that refill only comes by the Holy Ghost. We need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. We need the fullness of the Holy Spirit. The church of Jesus needs a refill. We need a revival. We need a refill. We need a reawakening. Only when we are refilled on a daily basis can we march on, can we stand fast. If we leave our lamps open and dry, then the enemy will have advantage over us. So he's calling out tonight, say, my church, my bride, refill. Let me refill you. Let me fill you. He said, be filled with the Holy Ghost. Be drunk with the Spirit of God. Be refilled tonight. Be refilled tonight. Karabaya. Whatever the persecutions may be, the tribulation, the challenges, the storms. Karabaya. Remember that Jesus already conquered all. He got to He said, rest in me. No one can run this race Zadabaya, without the Holy Ghost. No one can run this race. That is why Jesus said, I will leave. Karabaya. But when I leave, I won't leave you comfortless. For I will send you another comforter. He was our first comforter. I said, he, I will not leave you comfortless. I will not leave you like orphans, but I will send you another comforter. And that comforter is a person of the Holy Ghost. And the church of Jesus can't do without the Holy Spirit. 
He's the one who refuses us. He's a kingdom of God in us. He's a kingdom in us. He's the one who causes change and transformation. Who causes perfection in the church. He's the one who keeps the church in a constant state of consecration, purification, in a constant state of power, dispensing the glory of God on the earth and establishing his rule and his kingdom. We need the spirit of God. And he's saying to you tonight, refuse. He said, bring your lamp and let me fill you up. Many are sleeping. Many are under the influence of the spirit of slumber. He said, come unto me. All you that labor and are heavy laden. And I will give you rest. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. That's what he says to his church tonight. He said, come. He said, come. Come, Makoda Mashan, let me refill you. Come, let me strengthen you. Come, let me comfort you. Arabakaya, Karabaya. Come, let me show you how to go and where to go. Come, let me strengthen you in this race that I have set before you. Karabaya. Without the refill, you can't endure the cross. I hear him say, Arabaya. If your lamp is dry, eh, but you cannot endure the cross. You cannot endure afflictions. You cannot endure persecutions. You cannot endure tribulations. He said, In this world, you will have tribulations. He said, but be of good shape, for I have overcome. To refill you is to fill you with his joy. And who is joy? is the Holy Ghost. For the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Many have lost the joy of their salvation because of issues. But whatever it is tonight, the Lord is saying, come tonight. Let me revive you. Let me refresh you. Let me refill you. Karabashaya. Let me strengthen you so you can move on. Let me strengthen you so you can forge your hair. Karabashanda. Let me refill you, strengthen you so you can move on, so you can continue. Karabashanda. Hear the voice of the Savior tonight. And stay glued to Him. Karabaya. He said, Abide in me and I will abide in you. No one understands the bride better than the bridegroom. And no one else should understand the bride better than the bride and his bride and the church. We are the voice of Jesus on the earth. We are, we are the government of God on the earth. So we should know our Savior. We should know him. We should know our husband. He is our husband. He is the head of the church. He's our head. He said, come to me and let me refresh you. Libero, for many are weary, many are worn out. Many are tired, many are giving up. He said, the times ahead are very challenging. They are challenging times. Except your lamp is refilled. Except you are empowered by my spirit. You may fall out of the race. God forbid that you and I fall out of the race. God forbid that we go outside of the mark. Tonight, let us submit our vessels. Let us submit our vessels to the Lord. That he may refill us. Church of Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter your anointing. It doesn't matter the graces. The Lord owns all. The Lord owns us. We are his. He's ours. He said come to me. For I see what you don't see. I know what you don't know. For I am the solution that you seek. He is the answer to all things. He said tonight come to me my bride. Come to me, my bride, and let me refresh you. Let me refill you. Let me energize you. Let me revive you. Let me strengthen you. Let me comfort you. Let me love you. Let me reveal more of myself to you. And let me give you more of my grace. Let me multiply grace unto you. That your work may be easy. I have come to give you ease by my spirit. He said, come, let me empower you. For the days ahead are very challenging. You can only scale through by my spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for that in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Okay, we're going to go to the scriptures right now before we, we start uh, the intercession proper for the church and the sinners as well. But as customary, I would like to play um, the theme, the theme of this uh, prayer watch, the theme of this um uh, prayer move which is the bridegroom is calling is mm, prophetic yeah. you know that is the message that is what what the spirit of god wants everyone to know both the church and the sinner so the message is in the song so i will just uh, plead with you to you know give me your time and listen to the song 
and let the spirit of the lord breathe on that song and breathe upon your heart and your mind in the name of jesus and whatever challenges there may be whatever emptiness tonight the lord is the one who has come to refill he will refill he has a solution to our problems he alone can refill you and i tonight so as we listen to the song and what the lord is saying to you and i tonight may the lord may the spirit of the lord breathe on us breathe on me breathe on you because no one is there yet we are all walking towards it. We are all walking towards our destination. And our destination is Christ. And no one else can take us to Christ except the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, we praise you tonight. We worship you. No one else can take you to Christ except the Spirit of God. He's the one that witnesses in you and I that we are sons of God. He is the seal of our redemption. We can't do without him. We can't do without him. He's our director. He's our leader. He's our comforter. He's our helper. He's our standby. He's our reminder. He's a revealer. He's our builder. He's our perfecter. He's our equipper. He's our empowerer. My God. It is the power of the church. The Holy Ghost is the power of the church. He is the power of the church. He is the spirit of God and he is God. Praise the Lord. So let him breathe on you and I tonight. Whatever needs there may be that you have inside of you tonight. He alone can solve it. Let him be a healer to those who want healing. Let him be the deliverer to those who need deliverance. Let him be the savior to those who need salvation. Let him be everything to every one of us. Because he completes us and we complete him. Hallelujah. For ye are complete in him who is ahead of all things. Praise the Lord. Hey, let him complete you tonight, Jesus. The Lord be praised in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Breed on us, Holy Spirit, tonight. Breed on us tonight, Lord. Breed on us tonight. Breed on, Breed on us tonight. Breed on us tonight in the name of Jesus. Breed on us tonight. Break yokes tonight. Set your church free tonight. Set men free tonight. Set minds free tonight. Deliver men from deception of the times tonight. Deliver your church. That will not fall into the pit of deception. For all around us, a lot of false prophets have risen. How would you know? The Bible says, test all spirits to know if they are of God. We cannot test the spirits and know. We cannot decipher. We cannot discern which is of God except by the Spirit of God. Tonight, let us embrace the Holy Spirit. Let us embrace Him. We need Him. We need Him. No one can even get saved without the Holy Ghost. He is a power of conviction. He is a power of conversion. He alone can convict men to repentance. He alone can transform nations. He alone can transform people. He alone can transform the church. He alone, he is a builder of men. He is a maker of men. He is our strengthener. He is a presence of God. He is a Shekinah glory. Hey, he is a power of the resurrection. Jesus couldn't even have risen from the dead without the Holy Ghost. Karabaya in partnership with the Son. So we need him, hallelujah. Only him can lead us to Christ. Only him, he alone can reveal Christ to us. He alone can heal us. He alone can give us rest and bring us into the rest that Jesus has for us. For there remains a rest of people of God. Marabaya. You can't find that rest except you yield and surrender to the Spirit of God. And let him become your guide, your lead, your director. Aramakasaya. Hey, let him become the one in front and you follow. Liano Saya. Church of Jesus Christ, we need the Holy Spirit. Karabaya. We need the Holy Spirit to free and help us and break us free from carnality. A lot of believers are carnal Christians. They are carnal in their thoughts, in their perception, and in their disposition to life, their attitude to life. They are so carnal. They are so fleshly. This is a call to you and I tonight. I'm not exempted. I'm not here to preach self-righteousness. For we are who we are by the grace of God. But he's speaking to you and I. We are his church. He said, you need me. He said, let me fill you up. Come, let me refill you. And those of us who are in ministry, most times when, he, when we minister to people, to, the, to his sense, to the people, even to the, to the, to the unbelievers, most times we are worn out. Most times we are so encumbered with by ministry, Karabaya, challenges, the issues of men, counseling and all of that. Sometimes we are worn out. He said, tonight, through this meeting, I want to meet you and refuel you. 
I want to meet you and refresh you. Oh, I want to meet you and strengthen you. Oh, I want to meet you and pat your back. Oh, I want to meet with you and pamper you tonight. Adabaya, see Adabaya, and massage you tonight. You don't know the Lord can do that. He wants to massage you tonight. Kadabaya, he wants to refill our lamp tonight. Kadabashanda, he wants to light us up higher and more. Kadabaya, with greater intensity so we can push and advance his work on the earth in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, so this is a message of Jesus to his church and to the sinner out there. It's prophetic. I didn't say that to compose it. It came by the Spirit and I sang it the way I could. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Let him alone be glorified. But hear the message of the Lord.
shekaya na nasi ya kura bahaya. Nibarozi ya na nakosi ya na nadoko saya. Nibarozi 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 ya na nadoko Era bara na boshi ana na kasi ana na boshi ana na no saya. Kera basi ana na boshi anda haya. Liba zunde na boshi ana na kasi ana baya. Leba kora ana na kasi ana na boshi anda haya. Father, I just give you praise. E karabaya, the music will come on. There's just a little uh, uh, technical issue, but it will come on shortly. Karabaya. Oh, he's calling. He's calling.
and I have to release the word. The Lord is speaking Karabaya, to you, sir, Apostle uh, J.D. Kosita Madusa. I greet you, sir. Karabaya, but the Lord is speaking to you. Karabaya. Kerebo, just within the interval that there was a little technical issue. The Lord said to say to you, Karabaya, He said He's calling you to missions. He said he's calling you to missions. He said he's calling you to missions. He said your days of being stationary are over. This word is so apostle J.D. Kosida Madu. Good evening, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you for joining. But the Lord is saying to say to you that he's calling you to missions. He said he has work he wants you to do for him. Within Africa for now. Within Africa, within the shores of Africa for now. I hear him say six nations for now. He says he's calling you to missions. He says your days of being stationary. Are over, are over. He's opening the door to you for missions. Because he's sending you. I hear him say six nations in Africa for now. So I plead with you, sir. So please take this back to the Lord for further information, for further clarity, and for further confirmation in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There's a sister that said to me, that touch right now, Karabaya Sianasaya. That she has issues with her leg. The Lord wants to heal you tonight. I'm not a healer. Jesus Christ is.
the bread of healing, the bread of restoration. You will walk again. Hey, 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 hey. The healer is moving now. Breathe on those legs, Spirit of God. Hey, you are the one who makes things happen. You are the restorer. You are the repairer. You are the connector that connects tissues and veins together. That connects bones, marrows, and joints together. You are the power of creation. Hey, hover, hover, Liana Saya. Hey, Breathe on her legs right now, Lebo Shanda, and cause her healing. Oh, cause her restoration. And let her glorify you as a healer. I curse the spirit of infirmity and affliction. Kaya, in the name of Jesus Christ. And I speak to your legs right now. Receive the touch of the Lord. Receive the bread of the Lord. You will not resist it in the name of Jesus. Let a yoke be broken of your feet right now. Be broken of your legs right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your healing. And praise your God. Because he is good. And he has done you good. In the name of Jesus. Lord I thank you for this healing. By the spirit of the Lord I am led to pray for marriages tonight. I'm led to pray for homes tonight. It's a burden of the Lord. To pray for homes tonight. Those who are watching, their homes who are watching, that are experiencing some form of shaking. The hand of the devourer tonight will be cut off homes in the name of Jesus. The Lord said, put it in my hands and I'll fix it. I'll fix it for you. I'll fix it. I'm the builder. I hear him say, I'm the builder. No one makes a home better than the Holy Spirit. Put it in my head And I will fix it for you Nothing dies in my hands All things walk in my hands Put it in my hands And I will fix it for you Father in the name of Jesus as many that have put their homes, their issues in your hands tonight. Your hands are capable. Eh? Your hands are able to do exceedingly abundantly. Above all we could ever ask or think or imagine. Through the power. You are the power at work in us, Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit, you are the power. You are the devotion. You are the power of creation. You are the power of resurrection. Resurrect homes tonight. Recreate their joy tonight. Restore them tonight. Fix homes tonight. Every crack. Oh, I ask that you repair tonight. Breathe on homes tonight. Every crack that the enemy has brought in. Every crack they have brought in upon themselves by themselves. Tonight in the name of 
Jesus. Let your mercy prevail. Let your love prevail. Let your hand of grace prevail. Fix it, O oh God, that they may know you are good and you are God. Fix it, O oh God. You are the one who makes this happen. Nothing dies in your hands. All things work in the hands of God. Spirit of God, breathe on homes tonight. Breathe on homes tonight in the name of Jesus. And cause a restoration. Cause your rest, yes, Lord, to be experienced. Cause your rest, God, Abashandah, Nassaya, to be stayed with them and in them. I said it. Fix marriages tonight. Fix homes tonight. Bring restoration tonight. Bring a healing tonight. Bring a healing tonight. Bring a healing tonight. Bring a healing tonight. So many hearts have been, have been injured. Abashandah, Haya. Hey, you are the bomb in Gilead, Jesus. Oh, rub them with your healing balm tonight. Hey, Nabaya, touch them tonight. Mend their hearts tonight. Heal the pains tonight. Take off the burdens tonight, Jesus. And give them your tranquility. Give them your peace in the name of Jesus. And just as our homes be restored tonight, every fluctuations, every challenges, every highs and lows, Marabaya, whatever it is, say the Shandaha. Tonight the Lord knows and he's come to fix it. Receive the restoration that only Jesus can give by his spirit in the name of Jesus. Receive the peace that only Jesus can give. The word cannot give. You can't even give yourself peace. Peace is God. Peace is Christ. Peace is the Holy Ghost. Let his peace reign in your home. Let his peace reign in your home. Let his peace return to homes tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Araba Shandaha. Let the devourer be removed out of the way tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. From their foundation, let there be a repair tonight. Let there be a fixing tonight. Let them see your goodness tonight. Let them see your capability tonight, Jesus. Your hand is a hand that does good. Your hand is a hand that fixes things. Your hand is a hand that corrects things. Bring correction tonight. Bring correction tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you because I know you have perfected it. And they will give you glory. They will testify of your goodness. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every gate that has been opened to the enemy, go to my eye. Command is shut right now in the name of Jesus. And I enthrone you in their marriages right now, Jesus. Become the ruler, become reign in their homes, become their lead, become their guide, become their counselor. Here the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you because it is done in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. They were swan and an acacia of a high. Hey, and an anacia, and the devosia. Hey, and an aya. Hey, and an aya. We're going to be praying for the sinners in a few minutes before we pray for the church. But I'd like to play a song, first of all, that will lead us to the prayer. Hallelujah. Karabashanda Haya. Masia Rabasia Rabaya. I have to move as I'm led. Arabaya, as I'm told. Arabakosha. Because I'm not here by myself. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. 
He will not dwell in vessels that are not consecrated, that are not sanctified, that are not yielded, that are not available, that are not totally surrendered. But he's raising his remnant army all over the place. To truly demonstrate his kingdom on the earth. For the world has been waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. He said, Now is it? He said, Prepare for it, church. He said, Awaken tonight and let me refill you. Let me refill you. Let me fill you for impact in the kingdom. You are as relevant as your impact in the kingdom. Don't just be a vessel that is completing space in the building. What is your impact in the kingdom? He's coming to breathe on his church again for impact. For his excellence to be seen on the earth. For his dominion and authority to be expressed by his sons on the earth. His true church. So prepare for it if you are willing and you are ready. But that it will not happen is a lie. It's coming. The latter rain is coming and it's so near. And 2020 is going to be such a significant year in the body of Christ. Awaken, my church. Awaken. Put oil in your lamp. That's what it says to you. In Matthew 25. He said, Refill your lamp. Refill your lamp, church. Said, this is not a time to sleep and slumber. He said, stand on your watch for you know not the hour. But he says, I'm coming. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming. And he's coming to empower his bride again. For impacts. To demonstrate him on the earth. To establish kingdom rule and authority. To spread his influence all over the nations. We are going to pray for the church. The youths, I hear him say the youths. The youths. The enemy will not lay hold on you in the name of Jesus. The Lord is so interested in the youths. He's so interested in the teenagers and the youths. Because they are the future. Even of the kingdom. We need to impact the youth. They are the next generation. They must carry this fire. And they must know the Lord and know his ways. We must begin to teach them the fear of the Lord. And not the ways of the world. Because the world is busy corrupting the youths and the teenagers. Even the youths in the church. But we need the Shekinah glory of the Lord. To draw men out of the world. Back into his truth. Back into his word. Not the world. Only the Shekinah glory of God can do that. That is the Holy Spirit. Tonight in the name of Jesus. Join me as we pray for the body of Christ universal. A lot is going on. A lot is happening. Many more things will happen. Greater persecution, disasters are coming. But we need his Shekinah glory to stand and advance. Because none of those things will prevail over his church. None of those things will prevail over his true church, his true bride. So tonight let us pray. Father, we need your Shekinah glory. We can't make him power without you, Holy Spirit. And so I just lend my voice with the voices of the intercessors watching. And all over the nation, we cry out tonight. We say, bring your ladder rain. Bring your spirit, oh God. Pour your spirit upon us in the name of Jesus. Revive your church. Revive your bride. Heal her of foolishness. Let her not be like the five foolish virgins. Fill her with wisdom and all spiritual understanding. Strengthen her to stand on her watch. That she will not be taken on her ways. That she will not be taken advantage of her. We need and we cry for your Shekinah glory. Holy Ghost, we ask you to come. We ask you to reign. We ask you to reign on the church. Reign on your bride. Let your truth return. 
Let your righteousness return. Let your holiness return. Let your your justice return. Let your fear return in the hearts of men. Let men learn to fear the Lord again. For the fear of the Lord is for men to depart from iniquity. The fear of the Lord is not to walk in the flesh, but to walk and live in the spirit that we will not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. Breathe on your child, Jesus. Your Shekinah glory. You are the baptizer with the Holy Ghost. Oh, baptize your church. As you have spoken, as you have written, so let it come to pass, Jesus. In the time appointed, but we cry now, Lord. Rain on your church again. Rain on your church again. Open the eyes of your church again. Heal her of blindness in the name of Jesus. Heal her of compromise. Many have compromised the gospel. Lord, we cry restoration tonight. And about those who are falling away, we cry for restoration tonight. And those who are waiting, Lord, we ask for restoration tonight. Bring your Shekinah glory. Rain on your church again, Lord Jesus. Rain on your bride. Decorate your bride again. Oh, clothe her with your beauty again. Clothe her with your power, with your strength, with your glory. And about you, say you will fill this house with your glory. We ask for the Lord of rain. He said, The glory of the Lord shall be greater than the former. We ask, oh Lord Jesus. Let there be a fulfillment of the performance of this. Rain on the youths, rain on the teenagers, rain on the children, rain on the mothers, rain on the fathers, rain on your church, Jesus. Rain on your bride. Lift men out of the pits. Deliver men out of drunkenness. Hey, heal your church of blindness. Spiritual blindness. Hey, I'm an Asaya. Open eyes tonight, Jesus, the eye of your church. Release your true prophets all over your remnants who will speak your truth and nothing but your truth. Who will awaken the church from their slumber? Anyone who will correct and rebuke in love? Who will tell them God is where don't go that way? Who will rebuke sin and not pamper sin? Release the apostolic again. Release the prophetic again. Release evangelistic oil again. And let there be a wholesome harvest and revival in the church in the name of Jesus. Let the prodigals return. Release the teachers again. Who have true revelation and knowledge of the world. can teach men the truth. Release the pastoral again. To care for your sheep. In love and in unity, to cement your sheep, to keep us in the bond of unity, the bond of love. Tonight we cry in the name of Jesus. Bring your Shekinah glory. Holy Spirit, come. Come, in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Heal ministries tonight. Ministries that are sleeping or are almost losing it or missing it. Tonight we cry at Jesus. With the restoration, in the Boshaya. Holy Ghost, they can't do it without you. Karabaya Siya Saya. He said, if only we find one man who may cry out. We are crying tonight. We are more than one. We say, Lord, do it, Lord. Restore in the name of Jesus. Teach men to live and walk in obedience again. Karabaya. For obedience is the true test of sonship. You're not just a son because you believe in Jesus. He says, so as many that believe, he gave them the power to become. To become. So believing has not made you become. There's a power to become. That is the Holy Ghost. That is the kingdom in men. That comes to teach you, to guide you, to build you, to become sons of God. Sons of God walk in the will of God. They walk in His ways. They walk in His truths. They live in righteousness and live in holiness. Father, restore your graces back in your church in the name of Jesus. 
Many have lost faith in the church because of all the calamities going on. But you still know your own. You still know your own. Even as you are allowing the wheat to grow together, with the tears, you still know your own, Jesus. I ask that you breathe on your church in the name of Jesus Christ and restore life back in your church in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. We're going to cry out for the sinners. No man can save a man. Only Christ in a man through the power of the Holy Ghost can save a man. And he has sent us forth as his sons, as believers to go out into the field and proclaim and declare and preach the gospel of the kingdom. Bringing men out of darkness into light. Many don't even understand the gospel. Many are not even preaching the right gospel. Many have watered down the gospel to something else. You can't really understand the gospel except by the Holy Spirit. And he is a chief revivalist. He is a chief witness. He is the one who saves men. Who transforms men. He is the one who has the power to transform, to convert a sinner to a saint. It is not you and I, but he walks through you and I. Hallelujah. So tonight let us cry out for his Shekinah glory, the Holy Ghost. In men, he is to be restored again. And let us go out there without fear of favor. With the boldness for the righteous are born as a lion. And begin to speak to people the truth. Begin to reveal the kingdom to, to, to sinners. Begin to teach them and show them the need why they need a savior. Why they need to come to light. Let our lifestyle match with the message that we preach. Match with the gospel. For we ought to be one with the message. The messenger and the message ought to be one. Many are not listening because they are not seeing the fruits. We don't blame God. We blame it on the church. We blame it on the teachers. We blame it on the apostles, on, on the prophets, every one of them. Many are not believing the gospel because they are not seeing the fruits in the lives of those who are preaching it. But tonight the Lord brings alignment to his church in the name of Jesus Christ. So Lord, we cry out tonight for sinners all over. All over the nations, all over the earth. Let the rain of salvation fall. He said, except the spirit of God be poured upon us from on high. Only then will the wilderness become a fruitful field. So what can we do without the Holy Ghost? Nothing. We need the Shekinah glory. And he's the Holy Spirit. We cry out tonight, Spirit of God. You are the Spirit of truth. Begin to walk in the hearts of men. Those watching who are not yet in the truth. And those who will watch later who are not yet in the truth. Begin to walk in the hearts of men. Tonight, walk in the hearts of men. Walk in their minds. Deliver men from carnality. Deliver men from naturalness. Deliver for spiritual things and foolishness with natural man. Those that the God of this world has blinded, we ask tonight that you unveil them. Let there be an unveiling, Spirit of God, by your mighty hand of grace in the name of Jesus. Convict men of sin tonight, convict them to repentance. Let men learn to walk, show them the way, how to live the spirit life. How to live the kingdom and how to do the kingdom. Not denomination, but kingdom. For we are one body in Christ Jesus. We are not separated. We are one. It doesn't matter our ministries. It doesn't matter our location. But we are one. In the name of Jesus. Teach men to walk in truth. Open blind eyes tonight. Care about safe sinners tonight. Open their eyes to realize that they are in darkness. That they are in darkness. And bring them to light. For only you have the power to do that. And so I ask you in the name of Jesus. Breathe in the name of Shandahaya. Breathe in the name of Shaya upon her tonight. Breathe upon my tonight, in families, in the buildings where we fellowship, in the marketplaces, even in our government, our leaders, in the secondary schools, in the universities, everywhere, in the brothels, in the hideouts, the criminals, the prostitutes, God is interested in all of them, for he died for all. Tonight, Jesus, arrest them by your spirit, O oh God. Open their eyes, Jesus. Let your love be revealed to them. Let them see the need, why they need you. Open them up to what you have done for them on the cross. And let them know they are not rejected. And let them return home in the name of Jesus. We pray for families, for schools. 
Whatever they are sinners, God, they are people that have not come to know the Lord. Let your mercy prevail tonight. Let the power of your grace move tonight through this intercession and reach out to them in the name of Jesus Christ. This one will not fall on empty ground. Move, Spirit of God. And locate that heart that needs this word, that needs this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. On the streets, all over the place, say, the drug addicts, every one of them, you are interested in them. Reach out to them in the name of Jesus, even through this broadcast, as we intercede on their behalf. The celebrities, wallowing in worldliness, in materialism, those that have sold their souls to the devil, we cry out tonight, miss the Lord, deliver them, they say that, let your power deliver us, move tonight, and set free from the clutches of death. From the dissension of the wall. Unveil your eyes. Remove the veil of the covering that the enemy, the God of this world, has placed on them in the name of Jesus. And let them come back home. For you died for all. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want to spend the next 10 minutes praying for everyone who is watching. There's no one who doesn't need prayer. Even if you're a man of God, a woman of God, I need prayer. No man can say, I have prayed enough. Every day, Karabaya, we must refill our lamp. And we refill it through intercession, through prayer, through fasting, through consecration, through being with the Lord, through study of the word, Karabaya, through fellowship and in intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Hey, Ananayana, say, there's no man on earth that will say he doesn't need prayer. But whether you need or you don't need tonight, by the Spirit of the Lord, I just want to intercede for 10 minutes in the Spirit. For as many Karabaya who are watching, that the spirit of grace will strengthen you. We keep you going. Oh, we keep you on your feet. Arabakosi and Nasaya. Hey, that you will fulfill destiny. Oh, that you will run this race to the expected end, expected of you in Christ Jesus. Oh, that nothing about you around you will fail or will die. Hey, Oh, that you will walk and stay and live and walk in the will of the Lord and His ways. Oh, that you will increase in grace and grow in grace. Oh, that you will strengthen in your faith. That challenges, persecutions will not make you. Turn your back on Christ. Don't turn your back on Christ. Don't turn your back on Christ. Don't turn your back on Christ. No matter what you see, no matter what you hear, and no matter where you go, please don't turn your back on Christ. Don't turn your back on Christ. Hey, Receive grace so that you will not turn your back on Christ. No matter what you see, no matter where you go, no matter what happens, don't turn your back on Christ. Hey, don't turn your back on Christ. He's saying to you, don't turn your back on me. I know the road is not always easy. Hey, Arabaya. I know you feel some discomfort in your body. Hey, Arabaya. But don't turn your back on me. Don't turn your back on me. I know, I know, I know, I know how you feel sometimes. I know. Sometimes a pain is so hard to be But please don't turn your back on Christ. Hey! And David encouraged himself in the Lord. Hey! Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. He never said it was going to be easy. He said, pick up your cross and follow me. 
The cross is not always easy to carry. I'm carrying mine, and I'm not telling you, I'm not here to tell you it's easy. But by His grace, we keep going, we keep keeping on. So please don't turn your back on Christ. No matter what you see, no matter the situation, it may not always be rosy. There will always be highs and lows. But don't turn your back on Christ. Don't turn your back on Christ. Please don't turn your back on Christ. Don't turn your back on Christ. No matter where you go. No matter what you see. Yeah. He says, don't turn your back on me. I will make it easy. He says, I will be with you when you go through the fire. That is to say that the fire will come. But he said, Rabbi, I rejoice for I am with you always. Please don't turn your back on Christ. Hey, I don't know who is watching that is about to turn his or her back on Christ. Hey, Rabbi, but he's saying to you, turn, them, turn around. He said, make a U-turn. Hey, Rabbi, he said, don't take that decision. Don't turn your back on me. For in me you have rest. Hey, Rabbi, he said, I will give you the hope that you desire. I will give you an expected end. For my thoughts for you are thoughts of good, thoughts of peace and not of evil. I'll give you an expected end. So please don't turn your back on me. Oh, my blood is still speaking. Oh, my blood is still crying. Oh, my heart is still beating for you. Don't turn your back on me. Don't turn your back on me. Don't turn your back on Christ. Hey, I, 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 I'm also saying to myself, I will not turn my back on Christ. No matter what I face, no matter what I see, no matter where I go, no matter the discomfort, no matter the lack, no matter the mockery, for I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God unto salvation. For we were not redeemed by perishable things. But by the blood of Jesus, he is eternal life. It is in him that we have eternal life. Think about eternity. Do not end your journey here on the earth. Think about eternity. Before you take that decision, he said, think about eternity. He said, have eternity before you. Before you take that decision. Don't turn your back on Christ. Spirit of God, I just ask tonight that everyone watching, you know us all. Even more than we know ourselves. Breathe on us in the name of Jesus. Breathe on them in the name of Jesus. Strengthen as many that need your strength. Grace as many that need grace tonight. As many that are weak, oh God, strengthen in the name of Jesus. So that by God. As many facing any form of challenge, bring your rest in the name of Jesus. Take their yokes and their burdens, and give them yours, because yours is easy and yours is light. But I just ask, oh God, that you bless your people, oh, that you prosper them in the name of Jesus. And I pray that they will walk in the path of light. That they will walk in the path that shines brighter and brighter unto perfection. That they will walk in the path of gold, in the path of prosperity, in the path of favor, not in the path of shame. For you died that shame may be taken from us. So we can see your glory, experience your glory, and be in your glory, and show forth your glory in the name of Jesus. Let everyone watch and begin to encounter your glory in the name of Jesus. And let their path tonight become the path of glory in the name of Jesus. Lord, I give you praise. Hallelujah. Blessed be your holy name. Praise the Lord. We're going to pray for ministers. When I say ministers, I mean um, those in the five uh, offices that Jesus gave. Those who are apostles, who are prophets, who are evangelists, who are teachers, and who are pastors. Who have ministries. Who are stationary. Those who are on missions. But they have been given a mandate and assignments. We're gonna pray and ask no matter what. It's not easy. But that the grace of God upon their lives will preserve them in the name of Jesus. Lord, preserve your, your workmen, preserve your laborers that you have released to the field. 
missionaries all over the place. Those who are stationary, Lord, preserve your anointed, preserve your teachers, preserve your pastors, preserve your apostles, preserve your evangelists, preserve your prophets. Let them stand in your truth and always teach your truth. Meet their needs. Let your truth never be missing in their mouth in the name of Jesus. Even the ministers in songs, in worship, in music, they are not left out. The deacons, everyone in the position of leadership will pray for leaders tonight in the body of Christ. Father, strengthen them in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, multiply grace upon them in the name of Jesus to be able to lead your sheep in the way that they should go according to your way with you, Holy Ghost, leading them in the name of Jesus. Lord, I give you praise because I know you always hear when we call on you. We honor you tonight for all that you have done, for everything, Jesus. We say be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Be glorified in the name of Jesus. Be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. We cover this intercession with the blood of Jesus. Nothing will break it, nothing will resist it, nothing will stop it from reaching and getting and penetrating to the hearts and minds that need his prayers. And when they watch it, Karabaya, the Spirit of the Lord will breathe upon them. And the desired change and result, transformation, will be seen in the name of Jesus. Lord, we give you praise. Join me and lift up the voice. I say, thank you, Lord, tonight. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you because you have moved the way you want to move. No one can box you up. No one can tell you what to do. Karabaya, leave us one and like a I just want to say thank you tonight in the name of Jesus for making this possible. And for ministering to your people tonight in the name of Jesus. Let your presence remain with them. Oh, let the joy of salvation be restored in them. Oh, let your grace be multiplied in them in the name of Jesus. Oh, let your lives, Karabaya, evidence your glory in the name of Jesus. Oh, Rabaya, increase them in understanding tonight in knowledge and revelation of your truth, of who you are, and of your kingdom in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you in Jesus' name, amen. I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you for spending your time with me. Thank you for your data. I just want to thank you so much. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much and God bless you. Thank you so much. And please help me, join me and assist me in spreading this gospel in spreading this message, in spreading the voice of Jesus, in amplifying his voice all over the earth, all over the nations, by sharing this video, this broadcast, so that as many who have not come to light will hear what the Lord has to say to them. And as many who are in Christ will also hear what the Lord has said to them, to strengthen them, to comfort them, to exalt them, to edify them, to build them up, and to keep them going in the faith, in the name of Jesus Christ. Just do Jesus that favor tonight and share the video. Hallelujah. Thank you so much and God bless you. But I want to leave you with Matthew chapter 25 and Matthew chapter 22. These are the two key scriptures for this meeting, for this prayer watch. The bridegroom is calling to prepare the church and to call the sinners out. So please dwell on those scriptures and let the Spirit of God minister to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So for the next three minutes, I just want us to spend time in worship. Hallelujah. Let's just spend time in worshiping our God. It's been a glorious evening. I'm so excited in my spirit because the Lord has done great things tonight. And we just give Him praise. Hallelujah. Here
Jesus, you reign. You reign over every nation. You reign over every kingdom. You reign over all dominions and authority they may be. You reign in the sea. You reign on the land. You reign on the trees. You reign in the atmosphere. You reign over the clouds. You reign in the heavens. You reign over all. so much tonight. Have a lovely night and see you next month on the third Friday. Amen. Good night.